No Argentina country though. Or anywhere in South America. Or America. Just no America. Deep Dip 2 is pretty cool. Yeah. I haven't been keeping too many tabs on it. How did you get stopped by the sun? Wait, someone finished? Or the record for the highest height? Lift back. I need to get a skin for this car that's just covered in tits. And it's called the Lift Back Sack and Crack. Oh, fair. I, I never expect people to return when they say BRB, to be fair. Always say yes to tits. It's never failed you so far and it even got you a wife at one point. This is so much better than that fucking Subaru. Does this one have the dodgy restrictor plate? <laughs> or is this the legal version? I can't believe they did that. That's so good. The, uh, the Toyota team managed to get an illegal restrictor plate put in these cars for a while that would open up only when it wasn't being tested. It was like the VW emissions scandal type thing. Where it's like, knows it's being tested. When you take it out of the car, it the hole is one size, but when you put it back in the car, the hole is another size. So it lets more fuel and more air and whatever in. And the FAA said it was the most clever thing they'd ever seen. I don't even know how they managed to find it, honestly. I think they had to be told it's there. Another long bike ride tomorrow. Uh, should be... Well, the last one was meant to be 120k, but it turns out someone shit at making maps. And there was a big old fucking 10k diversion, so it was actually only about 3k longer than the previous one. And I'm pretty sure that one kilometre of that came from a diversion that we did. <laughs> I'm, like, we did a diversion that was even longer to avoid a main road, so I'm pretty sure that some of that came from that. So anyway, actual, well it'll be 112k because it was last time. No, it was, oh actually yeah, the last one wasn't that long because uh, I went an extra bit. So the last one, last week was meant to be 120k but it was actually 110, 110, 112 but I got 116 because I got a ride to and from the uh, village hall. Fuck's sake. This week will be the same as like three or four weeks ago.
Be a good ride. Be a good ride, though. Yeah, should be good. It's uh Though my legs were tired today. I went for a ride that I was like, I'm gonna just do a short ride and an easy ride, and my legs will not straighten properly still from running yesterday. They're like holy fuck, tight right now. I can never turn a camera on while I'm playing this game, by the way, because I am literally sat in uh, what I believe is referred to as missionary position <laughs> right now. <laughs> Fucking... <laughs> At least I've got shorts on this week. Last week, my... Fucking... I went onto the camera scene on OBS by mistake. After I'd finished streaming, fortunately. I'm in a skirt and I'm just fucking flashbanging <laughs> He's chilling out with a fucking ass on the show. So look, I got a good ass. It's fine. Though there is one thing that running does do that's good. It makes my muscles super fucking tight because they're just not used to the pounding of hitting the ground. But with all that... Um, but like it shows off the muscles because they become tight so they look fucking brilliant so I need to shave my legs tonight because otherwise I'll be annoyed at myself tomorrow and the patches of I'm terrible at shaving my arms I literally can't do it I get I'm like oh I've done it get out the show and there's like loads of patches so like, oh, fuck's sake and the worst thing you can do is then go and shave them and just flick a razor across them because that will just itch you'll just burn yourself if you do it dry Oh, I got buns, hun. Buns for days. It's walking that gives you a good ass, though. Walking and running give you the, the glutinous maximus deployment. More walking than running, I think, actually. But, um. And squats, obviously. Cycling doesn't give you it, but mountain biking, if you do it right, does. BMX definitely does, because you're just straight sprinting and then doing full body squats. Um, certain ways of riding a BMX, uh, racing BMXs, certain tracks are like a full body push up in a compression. Like, flat out, you're pushing your whole body weight up and more because acceleration forces it's like just huge push ups Da, 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 da. 
Except downhillers all complain when they have to pedal back up to the top. They're like, oh, my legs hurt. Oh, but my bike is not built for going up hills. Oh, <laughs> and I'm riding a fucking dirt jumper. This thing ain't built for going up hills, down hills, or basically on the flat. It's just built for going in the air. This rally grinding is about finishing every track in the game. So basically what 5e did for RR before I managed to get this finished. But there's... Uh, with all the combinations of all the cars, of all the tracks, rain and dry, there's 1920 leaderboards in the game. And I have done over 1,700 of them. Uh, yeah. I've got, what, 192 was at the start of this section. And I've done 24. So, 180, 168. 168 minus whatever track I'm on right now. Left to go. So, 168 minus 5. So, I've got 163 tracks left to go out of 1920. <laughs> Complete grinder by fucking everyone on there. true slot grind. Next thing to complete is um, Climb World. Climb World's the next goal on my list. Well, it's between Climb World and going for a world record. Whichever one happens to get me first. Or basically, if before the time where I actually sit down and go, today is the day I'm going to grind out Climb World, because uh, it'll be a couple of weeks, if I just happen to get a map that clicks and I'm like, close, I might just keep pushing for the world record on that. Climb World very hard. I got an hour and a half. I got to like the fourth stage or something. Brown pillars. Then I watched Vert do it in single segment piece uh, for the world record, and he literally just fucking jumps around, and makes it look easy. Absolute mad lad. I got to a point where I physically couldn't move the mouse. Like, I just lost all control over my ability to move the character. You know, when you've just... You've done something for so long that you actually just forget how to do it.
Although actually before that I need to beat the Minecraft parkour map that uh, came out yesterday. But that's like an hour. Tops. It's a good job I don't need to win any of this, isn't it? What, first all the stages in the in the single player stage sense or world record on every stage because there's three leaderboards that pop up at the end of each stage here you've got the stage result which is just for this stage versus AI all these people are AIs well AI is just random uh, Random names assigned to a random time from the leaderboard. Now you got the rally, the total. And then you got the leaderboard with the world record. World record, every stage. Okay. I don't think I'm ever coming back to uh, to defrag though. Maybe I'll drop in for XDWC, play a couple of hours. Just enough to make the uh, tutorial video and to know the map enough to do the explanation at the end of it. But this is my life now. I'll be playing Art of Rally 24 7. Only meta cars. I was going to try and world record all of the, um, so while I'm doing this, all these 12 track custom rallies to do every rally in each country, these are a, uh, a speedrun category in themselves. And I was going to try and get all world records in that, but then Turbo set a really fast time on, um, on Group B Finland. Because before that, the only ones that have been taken off of me have been, like, just a bit faster than me. You know, very, very doable if I put a bit more effort in than just one run. Like, a, you know, so very doable, but turbos is absolutely impossible for me to beat without a... Well, it would be possible, but it'd take me an absolute grind and I can't be bothered. I don't massively like Finland, nor do I massively care about Group B.
I genuinely think in this game Group B would be forgotten if it wasn't for its real life relevancy. That it's the sweetheart golden age of rallying. Well, that was quite cool. Art of Rally Stunts Edition. As we are an hour into the stream, I might as well do the spiel. If you uh, are enjoying the stream, hit a follow. It's really nice if you do. Um, make sure you stretch your legs. Make sure you got something to drink. You've had something to eat. If you need something to eat, you've done all all the taking care of yourself things. Uh, if you've got Twitch Prime, make sure that you use it on somebody. It doesn't have to be me, but somebody. Make sure Jeff Bezos doesn't get the money. Um, if you can't think of anyone, hi, I'm right here. Yeah, that concludes our hourly check-in, making sure that you're all well. I think with Le Sync B, you could 360 it. You'd have to find the right jump though, and it might have to be free roam so that you didn't get reset before landing. But it'd have to be a car that's less stable at high speeds, because this car's very stable at high speeds. Meaning you'd have to get it down to low speeds to let it turn. But you need a car that's You need a car that you can tap on a you can tap its end out at high speeds, hit into a tree to make it spin, and then go off a ramp, making it send it. Yeah, quite a lot of the Group B cars will probably be quite good. Group A is going to be terrible. Group 2, 3, 4 probably terrible. So yeah, Group A probably the best. Either Group A or the um, Rotary in Group B. Group, yeah. Group B or the Rotary in Group B. Nice one, Craven. Or Rotary Kai. Because that thing feels like it's... Uh, on a ball bearing. And it slides like nothing because it's got tiny tires. I've barrel rolled the logging truck quite a few times. Uh, 
logging truck can never uh, fully flip upside down. It's it's rounded around the edges, so it never possibly flips perfectly upside down. And the top seems to be asymmetrical somehow. But it was weird going from that to the Dakar. I spent so long driving the logging truck and understanding that if I toppled it, all I had to do was just get it into first gear, accelerate, and it will flip itself back over. The Dakar is the exact opposite. It is incredibly square and incredibly flat and will not right itself at all. The little monkey will usually right itself but it will also take any opportunity to flip itself back over. I did not see that rock in the slightest. Nothing is a reset. There is no such thing as a reset unless I fuck up completely and choose the wrong tracks. Or we spawn into a... Uh, into a race and it's raining when it shouldn't be or sunny when it shouldn't be. There is no such thing as a reset here. Unbind kill. Big yawn. Start the stage in your A button. I've got it bound to something on here. I can't remember what it is. I think it's that. I'm not going to press it because re stage restarts are illegal. Yeah. 
To be fair, I have reset for uh, Quake speedruns on my spacebar. Which I always just find hilarious whenever somebody comes around and I'm like, have a go! Immediately they try to jump and they're like, why did I just die? Oh yeah, way cheaper than doing it IRL. It's fun as well because I pretty much short shift everything. So when it's rev pinned, you know that it's actually it's up there. And be, like that last section, it's so rare that I drive well enough for long enough to hear it rev pin for that kind of length of time. Normally I'll completely fuck it up and crash into something before I get to keep it pinned for that long. Even in somewhere like a, like this is actually technical, but somewhere like Australia where it's open and wide, I still fuck it up. I mean, like, how long would it take you? This game's 20 quid. How long would it take you to get through 20 quid's worth of petrol in your car, just sitting in neutral, revving the bollocks off of it? Or how long would it take for that to blow a gasket? Yeah, as the outcomes of that, petrol probably the cheapest. And you'd only be able to do it for probably five minutes before someone, if you're just literally sat there going at top bollock, someone's going to call the cops on you pretty sharpish. So you're probably only going to be able to do it for five minutes before you get the cops called on you. Plus, any of the cars that I have access to at the minute don't have particularly nice sounding engines. Uh, two, two of them are diesel, uh, so that's... Two, two out of three are diesel, so that's not a great start for engine noises. And the third one's an eco-petrol, so it fucking doesn't rev. Oh, 
I did ask at one point about a completion percentage and they said unlikely unfortunately so unlikely please upload if these things don't upload I have to do them again <laughs> Right, nice one, sub 30. Sub 30 in Sardinia. Cheers, Turbo.